Sage Backpack ERP allows you to use templates to speed up and simplify entry of orders, purchase order requisitions, and purchase orders. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to set up and use templates in order entry, but you can follow the same steps for requisitions and POs. So let's jump right in and get started. We'll start by going to Order Entry, OE Setup, and then the Templates icon. On this form, you can add or edit your templates. By clicking the Finder, you can see that we've got six templates, and in the case of our sample data, they've been set up for each of our warehouse locations. Let's close the Finder and take a closer look. We'll click the next arrow to view the first template. Notice that there's an Order tab and a Customer tab. We'll start on the Order tab. You can set up templates for any of the order types, which is the only required field on this tab. All of the other fields are optional. When you apply this template to your orders, the FOB point, warehouse location, and comment fields on your order header will be pre-filled with the information shown here, subject to the rules that we'll demonstrate later in this tutorial. Notice that in the comment field, we're providing instructions for customers that may want to pick up their orders at this specific warehouse location. Now let's look at the Customer tab. Importantly, the customer type is the only required information here. All other fields are optional. So again, any information that you enter on your template will pre-fill the order header. You can also set any of your templates as the default template for your orders. To do this, click the Options icon and go to the Processing tab, and here you can specify a default template. Clicking the Finder will show your available templates, and we'll leave Active as our default. Now let's close this window and go over to Order Entry and take a look at how templates are used with orders. We'll go to OE Transactions and open the Order Entry icon. You can see that there's a template code field near the top of the screen and that it's using the template that we just set as our default. Let's enter customer 1200, Mr. Ronald Black, and take a look at how the template affects this order. When we specify a default template, the template will not overwrite information that comes from the AR customer record. The template will only insert information if the corresponding field on the customer record is blank. So let's verify this behavior by overlaying Mr. Black's AR customer record and the default template on top of the order. As you can see, the template's location did not overwrite the customer's inventory location, but moving to the Customer tab on the order, it did add the FOB point since no information was contained in this field on the customer record. Let's check the Comment field under the Orders Totals tab and here you can see that the comment on the template has been inserted on the order. So again, the default template will insert information on the order only if the corresponding field on the customer's AR record is blank. Now let's look at what happens when we start a new order and change to a different template. We'll start a new order by clicking the New button, and we'll again choose Customer 1200 and hit our Tab key. We'll click the Finder and select the New York template, and we get a warning that the tax group is changing. We'll close the warning, and let's overlay the template and customer record screens on top of the order so we can see the effects more readily. Starting with the Order tab, we can see that the template's location has been entered, and moving to the Customer tab on the order and the template, notice that the ship via, customer type, price list, and tax group have all come from the template. Further, notice that the territory and terms code on the order are blank. Moving to the address tab on the customer record, you can see that even though the territory field on the customer record contains an entry, it is overwritten by the blank field on the template. And moving to the AR customer processing tab, we can see that the same rule applies to the terms code. So to summarize, when we create a new order, select a customer, and change to a different template, the template's information, whether the field contains data or is blank, will overwrite information that normally would come from the AR customer record. Now let's see what happens if we create a new order 
and select the template first and then enter the customer. We'll select the New York template and enter our customer and now hit the tab key. And once again, we'll overlay the template and customer record on top of the order. Right away, we can see that the location now comes from the customer's AR record rather than from the template. And moving to the Customer tab on both the order and the template, you can see that the ship via, customer type, price list, and tax group have all come from the customer's record. Also, notice that when a field on the customer record is blank, the information is pulled from the template, such as the FOB point. So to summarize this behavior, when we start a new order and select the template first and customer second, the information from the AR customer record will take precedence over the template, unless the field on the customer record is blank. So to recap, by using templates, you'll speed up and simplify entry of orders, requisitions, and purchase orders, but as we've shown, it's important to understand their behavior to use them effectively. Give us a call if you need assistance with this or any other feature in your Sage Backpack system. Well, that's it for this tutorial. Bye for now.